What is up guys, welcome on back to TK's Garage. This, 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 okay, that's a horrible Doug DeMuro impression. Let's just get into the video. This is my 2019 BMW 540i G30 B58 monstrosity, and I blew it up. So ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we're gonna talk about CarMax, and we're gonna talk about max care specifically the car max warranty that you can get when you purchase a vehicle now this kind of was started when doug demiro bought a range rover a while back several years ago and car max paid out an absorbent amount of money to keep that range rover on the road well um full disclosure this car itself is actually sponsored by CarMax. I only paid 50% of what the actual asking price was of the car. CarMax covered the rest. Part of a sponsorship deal when I had a bad experience that they made right and I never bought a car from them. So um, we went ahead and did that. When I did the deal, they also offered me a Max Care warranty that I could buy for a fee. And if you ever own a BMW, um, you know, if you can get a full warranty that covers everything, bumper to bumper, bumper to bumper. If you can ever get one of these warranties that go bumper to bumper for a good price on a car like this, it's not bad. I'll explain why here in a second. Let me pull out the actual repairs that have been on this extensive paperwork already do on this car here we go now so for carmax they have different options when you buy the warranty right they have a 50 dollars deductible option a hundred and fifty deductible option and a 250 deductible option um, or 300 if you take it to like you know add 50 to each one of those if you take it to somebody else that's not carmax now when I first bought the car, when you first buy a car from CarMax, you're covered under a 90-day, 4,000-mile warranty unless it hits a certain benchmark or price, and mine did. When I bought the car, <clears throat> as soon as I bought it, you know, I had to travel over to Myrtle Beach to go get it, and I drove it home, and I noticed it was violently shaking when I hit the brakes. I knew that the ro rotors were warped. I took it to CarMax the next morning in Fayetteville, North Carolina, and they were like, that car should have been done. You know, they did the tires and stuff we see on it. Uh, but full disclosure, like, I, I literally got, con and it's not their fault. I literally got contacted by um, somebody at corporate. They literally got the car in from the auction, like, earlier that morning, had washed it and put the tires on it and hadn't done anything else to it yet. So I don't know if they had already said they were going to do the brakes or even if they did an inspection. I just jumped on the car because, again, I got this car for a steal. So, <clears throat> needless to say, I take it into the Fayetteville CarMax. And they said, yeah, whatever's wrong with it, we'll take care of it. Um, well, the car, I guess, had been in an accident at some point, And they never repaired the plastic undercoat, the undercarriage stuff. It's like a bunch of plastic stuff that snaps on under your car. Um, and that in the back was kind of broken and whatever. You couldn't tell, though, looking at the car, right? They'd already replaced the bumpers and cleaned everything up. So needless to say, um, she's like, you know what? That's outside of our pay grade. Take it over to Valley BMW in Fayetteville. We'll take care of everything. Well, first they, first they did do the rear rotors. The car was still shaking. So then she was like, you know what? Take it to BMW. Then they took it to BMW. So I had brand new rear brakes and pads. And then I take it to BMW and BMW puts brand new rotors, sensors, pads, the whole nine, and even replaced the caliper <clears throat> on the left front of the car because they didn't like the way it was sitting or whatever all of that cost me zero total cost out the door for carmax two thousand six hundred eighty six dollars and thirty two cents 
Um, that was just for that. Then we get to the undercarriage parts. That was just for the brakes and the sensors and all that stuff and the caliper and whatever. Then we get to the undercarriage stuff, which was the plastics under the car, which totaled out to $682.21. And, <clears throat> and I, we'll do a, I'll have to go back and add all this up. But so, so far we're at like 3,200 bucks in repairs and I've had the car a couple of days. All right. <clears throat> we keep going. Sorry about the cough guys. The dust in the air here is killing me. Um, we keep going and this is the first time I actually have to use max care. You can see I got a $250 deductible here. Um, you guys can see that on the receipt right there. 250 bucks is what I paid. And I'll tell you why I paid that. I blew the car up. I had the car out at Nellis Air Force Base and I was doing a promotional thing with a friend who's actually a pilot out there. And we actually got permission to, I, I raced my car against a jet. Yes, that video is coming soon. Um, it has to go through some different things and editing that I'm not going to do, which is done by people at the Air Force. And then I'll be able to publish it on the YouTube channel. I'm look, really looking forward for you guys to see that video. Needless to say, the F-16 kicked my ass. But <clears throat> um, I had loaded it up with boost and had her in launch control, had the foot to the floor, holding the brake, did everything that you're supposed to do. And I launched and I'm moving and I get to about 55, 60, and I heard a, a pop, pop, no problem. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And then I start smelling coolant. And it's like, okay, I must've blew the coolant system up. Well, there's a weep hole in the water pump and um, it had been leaking coolant. I've done posts about this on Instagram and different BMW Facebook groups. You guys have seen that. And I couldn't understand, but evidently when the water pump, if the impeller stops at a certain area by the weep hole and your water pump is bad, it will literally just dump the coolant out of that weep hole. But it's kind of like, it's intermittent because it just depends on where the impeller inside the water pump stops, whether or not it leaks. Well, that blew. So now it's leaking all the coolant. So we get it towed to CarMax. CarMax puts it in. They also go ahead and take care of my seatbelt. You see my seatbelt works now. Let's look at how much it costs for everything. In parts. Uh, let's see. R&R &R seat belt retractor assembly front side, $228. Labor subtotal for that was $285 for a total of, just fixing this, was $518.78. So we're probably at about, what, $3,700 now, somewhere, give or take. Um, concern number two, battery trim water pump is leaking from the weep hole they found out that my coolant reservoir also had a slight crack wasn't leaking yet so they replaced the water pump coolant reservoir radiator <laughs> <coughs> all the hoses all the lines everything reserve tank 10260 was the part um the water pump with the mechanical impeller was $399, which is pretty cheap for a BMW part for a water pump, I think. But that's what they paid for it. Um, coolant reservoir tank, the secondary one, which does your turbos or whatever, your intercooler, I guess. Um, $127.33. <clears throat> Labor uh, on the water pump was $428.18 because you pretty much have to disassemble the whole front of this car. Um, labor for the coolant tanks, whatever, 285 39 absolutely insane. Total cost, because there was some other, like, hoses and miscellaneous things to do the water pump <coughs> was $1,847.20. Woo! So we're at 4700 bucks. 50, let's say 5,400, 5,500. I'll have to add all this up. But let's say 5,500 bucks in repairs for all of this already. Now, I know you're going to say, well, that's because BMWs are not reliable, TK. That's not what it is at all. <coughs> this is a general maintenance thing on this car. So, needless to say, um, and here's the thing. What I love about CarMax is, you know, my car is tuned. It's not stock. 
Um, it's got exhaust work done to it. It's got, I haven't done the down pipes, or, no, but none of that matters. <clears throat> the warranty still covers basically everything on the car. And it was one of the reasons that I purchased it. So let's just say out the door, you know, we're probably 5,500, let's say 5,600 in repairs. I'll do a final total. Maybe I'll put it in the description for you guys if you guys want to see it. But well over $5,000 in repairs. How much did the warranty cost? It was a little bit over $2,800, which covers this car up to five years, or I'm sorry, four years and 120,000 miles. We're currently sitting at... Sixty-four thousand six hundred and thirty-two miles. That's right. So <clears throat> I'm almost at. I've almost put twenty thousand miles on this car since I've had it. Crazy, right? But got to think. I've been going back and forth across country, all over the place. But this car is covered basically for the next sixty-something thousand miles, like a factory warranty, and everything is covered in here. The lights that that normally fail on the dash and stuff in here. If the seats start to crack or do whatever every component in this car is covered under carmax's max care bumper to bumper warranty and i love it i want to give a major shout out and a thank you to doug demiro for um you know exposing that and it was one of the things i thought about it it literally came up kind of like last second like oh yeah let me get one of those bumper to bumper warranties from y'all and um all i can tell you is with over $5,000 already paid out, the warranty itself, and we're, you know, we're probably getting closer to 6,000, right? The warranty has almost paid for itself twice. And that was just on, you know, them doing stuff after I just got the car under the whatever regular warranty. And then one claim at 250 bucks took care of several thousand dollars in stuff on this car. It has basically a brand new cooling system, radiator, pump coolant um reservoirs all new hoses can't beat it i'll never have to service the coolant system on this car well you know what i'm not gonna say never the way i drive it i'll probably end up having to do something maybe an, <clears throat> a tank or something again in a few years but overall outside of that this car has never left me stranded people <laughs> would like to say that about bmws even when the coolant thing broke I was able to get it out to the front of post, didn't overheat, didn't run hot, didn't do nothing, and get it onto a truck, no problems, you know, so, needless to say, I'm very happy with CarMax, the buying experience I had there, which, there's a video on that, I'm going to do a whole walkthrough of how that works, and what I thought about it, and, um, but, if you are buying a car from CarMax, 100 especially a car like this a bmw a jaguar a land rover a range rover whatever it is buy the bumper to bumper max care car max warranty it will save you thousands let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below on my super bad doug DeBure impersonation at the beginning of the video but also let me know what you guys think about max care and if you guys really think it's it's worth it. Me personally, I do. I, I absolutely love it. And um, I think it's just automatic if you're buying a car like this from CarMax. You have to have it. 250 bucks, which could be several thousand dollars in repairs, um, literally pays for itself. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. This, this, this,